I'm standing outside the Las Vegas Convention Center, home to CES, the largest tech show on planet Earth. And over 150,000 people from around the globe have traveled to Las Vegas to see one thing, how the future of technology will change our lives. In today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes to show you how the city of Hong Kong is quickly emerging as one of the world's greatest technology and innovation hubs. Over 50 innovative companies have made the journey from Hong Kong here to the Las Vegas Convention Center. And in today's video, we're gonna be giving you access to some of the greatest entrepreneurs and the companies they represent, which will literally change the future of our life. Let's go. Let's first take you behind the scenes and show you how impressive CES truly is. Over 4,000 companies are represented at the show as tech insiders crowd the halls of the Las Vegas Convention Center to see the latest innovations the tech industry has to offer. But what's most fascinating is that individual countries will set up their own pavilions and bring a delegation of startups to showcase their tech to the world. Countries like the Netherlands, Israel, and even the U.S. government set up booths to display their promising companies. But there is one city that has its own dedicated pavilion and is quickly becoming a global hub of innovation, and that is Hong Kong. Hong Kong electronics industry is already a dominant force in tech, accounting for over 70% of the city's exports and the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, the city's leading innovation hub, brought a record 51 companies to attend this year's event, the largest delegation in history. To understand just how fast the city of Hong Kong's tech scene is growing, I interviewed Albert Wong, the CEO of the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, to share his insights. Albert, I want to know a little bit more about the vision of HKSTP here at CES. I, I know that this is the biggest delegation that you've ever brought here, right? Yeah. I think there's 51 companies here. Yeah. Um, there's over 2,000 companies represented at your science and technology park right. back in Hong Kong. 13 unicorns. I mean, you have had some tremendous success. Tell us a little bit more about what your vision is here at CES. Yeah, um, CES is, um, is the largest show in the world right. in terms of electronics and technologies. So we have to be here. This is like the World Cup of Technologies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the mission, number one, is to bring the technology companies in, in Hong Kong to the largest stage in the world. Right. Number two is that I hope that 51 of the companies, some of them will get some business to see it. Tell me a little bit about Hong Kong, you know, the future of the city and, you know, how innovation is really, you know, writing this new chapter for Hong Kong. We have five universities in one city that are ranked top 100. Amazing. So the basic research is strong. Right. We are also the, um, the international city for China, so we can connect different parts of the world to the second largest economy in the world. Right. Um, we are also a large fundraising hub for biotechnology, for electronics, for, techno for technology. So we are an international city and the city is focused on being the international innovation technology hub of the, uh, of the, of the region. Yeah. Thank you so much. And now it's time to go around these booths and explore these incredible companies and show you how they are actually changing the world and changing the future here at CES 2025. Well, everyone, I am joined by Derek Chim here back at the Hong Kong Pavilion, and we're just so excited because, Derek, I learned a fascinating um, fact, and that is that Hong Kong has mm -hmm. reclaimed its position as one of the top four cities in the world for IPOs in 2024. And what I really want to know a little bit more is, I want you to understand a little bit more about your R&D process here with these you know, 51 tech companies that are here, but sure. I think you have over you know, 2,000 companies over at the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park. Tell right. me a little bit more about your process. Right, so the startup or the tech companies in Science Park, uh, yeah. basically you know Hong Kong, we have very good universities, uh, we're like cutting edge research. Right. So the tech companies here, they focus on the tech developments, right? right? Um, so Science Park's role is actually how do we help them to commercialize it. Okay. Uh, not just in Hong Kong, but globally. Right. So basically what we do is um, we facilitate the founders to focus on their innovations, on how do they curate the products, right. how do they think about the product market fit and go to market strategy, how do we actually help them to upskill the pitching skill, fundraising, etc. Right. Then we bring them to expand overseas by connecting them to the right ecosystems. Nice. Uh, investor and customers globally. And that's the job that we do. 
wig. Nice, that's amazing. Oh, I know at the, at the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, it's not just local Hong Kong companies, right? There's over 25 countries that yeah. are represented there. So you have a lot of international people. I mean, it's amazing the growth that you've been able to achieve. You know, what is kind of your vision, you know, for the next five to 10 years as you're, as you're you know, investing in R&D and really looking at going to the international markets? The world is our destination. So right. basically in Hong Kong, we need to play as a super connector to actually be bringing all the tech companies here in Hong Kong and we connect them to the global stages. Right. So what we're going to do is actually we want to actually attract more tech companies, founders to come to Hong Kong. Right. And at the same time to actually help them to go international as well as actually go to China. Right. So what exactly we want to do is actually want to make this scale even further and playing the advantages of Hong Kong. I love it. There's a great vision for the future there, Derek. And I think, you know, I'm amazed to see the Hong Kong Science Technology Park, just how you have grown so much. And the future looks very bright. Good. And I think, it's, I think it's now time for us to go around this pavilion. We're going to interview five of the 51 companies here to show you how some of these companies are really transforming the future of our world. Right. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. Thank Derek. you very much. Thank you, buddy. Cheers. Right. This is Vidi Labs Limited. I'm joined by Turzo, originally from Bangladesh. From Bangladesh. And this is an amazing story I want you guys to understand. So first of all, I see that you guys have won an innovation award. Yes. Congratulations to Thank that, Turzo. So that is so amazing. But what's so incredible about this is, Turzo, you have a personal story. Yes. I think your grandfather needed some help. He said, hey, Turzo, you're an engineer. Yep. Why don't you make something for me? Yep. And that's how this company started. Tell us a little bit more. Absolutely. So it was COVID 2020. I was stuck with my grandfather yeah. and one day he comes to me very frustrated. He's like, can you make me something that at least I can go around my own house without asking you for help? Right. So he's visually impaired right. and he lost his eyesight due to age. Okay. And when he dropped objects in his own home, he still needed to ask us for help. Right. So then I started looking for products and everything's supposed to be app-based, right. phone, phone services, but elderly people cannot use it. Right. So that's when I actually spoke to more than my grandfather and I saw that this is a need for the 300 million visually impaired people around the world. Amazing. And that's when Seeker was born. Amazing, that's yeah. incredible. Tell us more about this technology. So it's a it's a device that you wear here. Again, this is for the our elderly community. I mean, as we know, we have elderly, you said 300 million around the world, right? 300 million visually impaired people. Visually impaired, right? Just visually Just impaired. Just visually impaired. So yes. obviously, you know, well over a billion people that you know would be elderly and probably needing something like this. Absolutely. So it's a device that you wear here, correct. and it's basically gonna help monitor as you're walking around and kind of help you get around, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, so the whole idea is that it's an AI companion Okay. that we call it Seeker, your visual companion. So it looks around for you, accessing visual information as you walk around. Okay. The whole idea is you can plug it in, in, uh, in your pockets, you can wear it like this, right. or on a lanyard, okay. anywhere like you like. And as you walk around, it extracts the visual information and gives you an audio feedback so Amazing. that you can access new spaces independently by yourself. That's incredible. And again, I think this is such a great story here, you know, with Hong Kong and Science Technology Park. So thank you so much for helping change the world Absolutely. and making it a better place. Thank you so much. Thanks, thank thanks right. a lot. This is Point Fic Technology. I'm here with Kenny, who is the CEO of this company. He's a Forbes 30 under 30, incredible entrepreneur. And what Point Fit Technology does is they have an incredible invention that actually tracks the sweat in your hands Absolutely. to get the biomarkers yep. of your body. Kenny, tell me more about your company and what you're so, doing to change the world. Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Kenny. So we're from Point Fit. So unlike normal wearables, like you can see like Apple Watch, Fitbit, Aura Ring, that normally measures only like heart rate, oxygen, or HRV. Right. Now we're taking it one step further. So we're actually bringing in biochemicals into wearable. So that's something that you normally need to go to hospital or labs for blood testings, urine, saliva. Now you can get it right on your skin from sweat. The one that is on Cyrus hand is actually much thinner than you thought. So this is based on the patent advanced material. We call it like ultra high molecular polyethylene right. that essentially can stick to your skin without adhesive. That's why we don't use any adhesive before, right? So as you can see, we just use uh, alcohol and now you can just exercise, you do whatever you want, it still sticks. Nice. So that's essentially our uh, core tag uh, of the material. And then pretty much after that, we build on top of the sensors to detect the sweat biomarkers. Amazing. So that's uh, pretty much, if you can see this, it actually looks similar like the test strips of glucose. Right. So pretty much we sort of like trying to mimic 
that system. Okay. We call it electrochemistry nice. based uh, system. Okay. Then we bring it on our materials and we so they can be put on the skin. That's fantastic. So that's like a simple way of it. Fantastic. Like any, I love you know I'm an athlete. I'm a professional golfer. Is my background. Really? So yeah. I play a lot of golf. You know I love no getting okay. in the gym and getting a good sweat on. So <laughs> this this technology really fascinates me. But I want to know a little bit more about Hong Kong. How has you know Hong Kong helpful for your business and your sure. company? I'm from Indonesia. I came to Hong Kong actually in 2015. Actually Hong Kong Science Park. They even we even joined from the day one. Like they have like pre incubation. So there's like program called ideation so that's where it all started it gives us a prototypes and that gets us going and then we got into the next program like incubation right and we just where we just graduated recently and pretty much that's they've been very supportive in terms of like not only about giving funds right bringing the lab stuff to actually be a commercial product right you know uh, how to find partners how to you know pitch the product exactly right. like what we're doing right here. It's one of the key things I want you to know from the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, right? Yeah, Kenny, originally from Indonesia, there's over 26 countries represented at the HK STP. And you know, this is what they are. You know, they're helping these companies, like you said, for starting from day one, yep. helping you fundraise, helping you train, helping you Absolutely. to be, become a better entrepreneur, exactly. but giving you the tools and resources you need yes. to take this company to the next level. Absolutely. Kenny, thank you so much for yep. what you're doing. I think this yep. is gonna help change the world. Yeah, thank you so much. Guys. Well, everybody, I'm joined by another entrepreneur. This is Ray, he is with Full Nature Farms and Ray, congratulations. You guys have received another innovation award from CES. And what's amazing about Full Nature Farms is you are talking about one of the most important industries in the world, obviously food. Every country is worried about food scarcity. We need to talk about our supply chains. Tell us a little bit more about your product, Rocket 2.0, and what Full Nature Farms is doing and your vision for the future. So we realized there's not enough farmers in the world right now. So right. Uh, it's reducing really rapidly. And then the cost of food production is going up as well. Right. So we look into the whole industry, we look at our issues and realize one of the main issues actually comes to thanks to irrigation devices. Okay. Uh, traditional irrigation devices, usually based on a schedule base. Right. So they disregard the climate conditions. So what we're doing is what we're doing is that we create Rocket 2.0. Okay. We utilize data for irrigation. So Rocket 2.0 collects data from soil, crop, and uh, the climate. The data is sent to the AI for analyze. AI can uh, analyze the data and adjust the irrigation schedule dynamically. Okay. Schedule is sent back to the rocket and then they control the irrigation devices. Amazing. Uh, so it saves a lot of water and labor costs. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Well, I think any innovation that's going to help uh, you know, our farmers, you know, farmers, you know, no matter where you are in the country, uh, you know, or in the world, farmers are so important to the future. And I think something like this is uh, going to be great for the future of mankind. You know, future yeah. of the world. Ray, tell me a little bit about Hong Kong. You know, what has Hong Kong meant to you? You know, as far as you know, being able to have your company there, and you know, how has that really helped you become, you know, more global and international? Hong Kong obviously is a financial hub. It's a great place for R and D. Right. Uh, because we joined the Science Park program, they give us a lot of support, and uh, like they bring us to this uh, the CS exhibition here. Right. So uh, that's where our base is, but we are expanding globally. That's right. No, that's so exciting. The future is bright. Thank you so Thank much, you Ray. So much. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everybody, I'm here at our next booth. This is Vista InnoTech, and I'm joined by Edward. Edward, thank you so much for joining. And I, I'm really fascinated by this because all of us, we love our smartphones. We use them every day. I just want to show the crowd, you know, this is the difference here. This is a regular smartphone here on the right. You can see that if it's moving around a lot. And what you've basically designed is the world's smallest three-axis micro gimbal stabilizer. So your device actually can go into your smartphone or any other camera. You know, tell us a little bit more about your innovation and, and your vision. Yeah, so basically, uh, what we have is this uh, free access gimbal stabilizer and this is the smallest one uh, compared with the traditional uh, gimbal stabilizer it is only one tenth of the uh, size wow. and one third of the weight so that's wow. why this one can fit even in the small drones okay oh amazing yeah. amazing so and drone then, smartphone so one tenth the size and one third yeah because for the small drones they can only carry uh, sometimes they can only carry one access uh, gimbal stabilizer right but with our technology we can upgrade it to free access gimbal stabilizer amazing. so that's why uh, it can take uh, even uh, sharp and clear image right. even at night. Oh, yeah. amazing. Edward, tell me a little bit more about your company because I know that you started off very early at, with the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park. You you know started off in the incubation phase and then basically grew and grown and now you're kind of like the alumni. You know, you've gotten to this point where you're, you're making great money and you know, the company's doing well. Tell us a little bit more about your journey and what your vision is for the future. Yeah, actually we spent a lot of, uh, of around five years in uh, Hong Kong Science Park. Okay. And then uh, we graduated from the 
uh, incubation and uh, accelerator uh, program, okay. acceleration program. And then, yeah, we get a lot of support from Hong Kong Science Party, yeah. which is very good. Right. And then we also expand our business nice. in uh, mainland, mainland China as well. So okay. we have an uh, uh, office in uh, Hong Kong Science Park, uh, Shenzhen branch as well. Nice, okay? yeah, absolutely. In, in world, yeah. That's amazing. Well, I think the key thing that I want everybody to know is just, you know, again, the, the, the story here is the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, you know, helping entrepreneurs, helping companies grow. And like you said, Edward, you guys have had tremendous success. You're the only company in the world that's doing this. And now you've got the opportunity to go international and really expand. And that's why you're here in Las Vegas here at yeah, CES. So yeah. congratulations and thank yeah, you so thank much. You, thank you. Absolutely. Perfect. Recycled material using tea leaves. How good is this? Future of our world here. Well, everybody, our final company that we're profiling is Zen's Object. I'm here joined by Fever. Thank you Back so to much. Nice uh, to meet you. Fever, this is an amazing story because you're basically making recycled material yep. out of tea leaves. And I exactly. think this is so fascinating because this is really going to impact the future of our world. Actually, we are a green tech company committed to help the manufacturers to utilize their waste and turn it into the valuable resources. Right. So the first project that we use is by making of the U, uh, tea leaves and turn it into different kind of material. Right. So we now have three patents and we can successfully turn the tea leaves and tea waste into tea paper, okay. tea board, and tea polymer. That's so now the tea board and tea polymer can be mass produced. Amazing. So I mean, this would be, for example, you know, like if you're at a hotel and it's the do not disturb sign, they actually, the, the, they look amazing too. Yep. I mean, they look really high end, very high end quality. Yes. We also have paying the Frost Seasons, MGM oh, nice. in Macau. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, building, building different uh, hotel amenities for them. Okay. And, oh, fantastic, fantastic. So I think this is really amazing. Tell us a little bit more about the city of Hong Kong and what the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park has really meant for you and your company? I think uh, Hong Kong is a good platform for us. Yeah. Actually, our companies come from Macau. Oh, okay. Yeah, we moved to Hong Kong last year. Okay, nice. So, and we try to use this, make use of this platform and also Hong Kong Science Park helps us a lot to right. go outside. And I think that's the key message we want to really show with Case is that, you know, this innovation hub here at Hong Kong Science and Technology Park, again, over 51 companies represented here at yep. CES. Um, you know, all of you coming across the ocean here to yep. America to showcase your, your amazing products that, again, I think you can look at all of the products that we have debuted and really talked about in today's video. All of them are changing the world and all of them are making the world a better place. Fever, I couldn't you. say it any better myself. Thank nice you so much you. and best of luck. Enjoy the show. Thank you, absolutely. Well, everyone, it was an absolute pleasure to visit the Hong Kong Science and Technology Park Pavilion here at CES 2025. This is my third year covering CES, and every year I'm inspired by the incredible innovation and the incredible tech that is literally changing the future of our world. But today's video really meant a lot to me because the city of Hong Kong means so much to me. Hong Kong truly is Asia's world city, and I am so inspired to see the technology that is coming out of the city and really how the city is transforming itself and really has a very bright future ahead. Now, 2025 is going to be an interesting year. And when you come to an international show like CES and you're surrounded by the most amazing companies and people around the world, you realize that this world economy that truly is so incredible is because of people from around the world coming here and working together. And this is the message that I preach on my YouTube channel, learning to bridge the gap between China and the United States, and most importantly, working together for a more prosperous and beautiful world that all of us can live in and enjoy. And everyone, if this is your first video of mine and you've made it to this point of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop me a comment down below. I can't wait to see you all in our next video soon.